Scorpios. Hi there, Kevin. Well, you know, it's January in Ohio, so I'm fairly certain that most of you have not put away the heavy winter jackets just yet. You certainly haven't been lulled into a false sense of security in the sense that winter is over with because, again, we're just now getting into the heart of winter, so still plenty of time to go for cold. And you know what? Looks like winter is finally going to rear its ugly head as we get into the next week or so around here, at least in terms of temperatures. Radar tonight is on a clean sweep. Not much happening. We've got this little storm system basically cruising right across Ohio tonight. It's dragging a cold front across the greater Cincinnati metro area, sweeping out the mild air and helping to usher in what will be the first in a series of cold waves that will continue to build into next week. In fact, you can look at temperatures here tonight. You can see how mild it is across Ohio, Kentucky, and at least the southern half of Indiana with widespread 40s and 50s. Contrast that, though, with 20s and eventually teens that have now made their way towards the Mississippi River. This is where our air will be coming from through the end of the week, so expect significantly colder weather. This 44, a little misleading because that's going to happen here in the next 40 minutes. That's at midnight. We won't be that warm during the day tomorrow. In fact, we'll only be in the 30s and with a wind, it will feel like it's in the 20s a good part of the afternoon for your Thursday. So that is a significant drop from almost 60 of today. And then we'll be around 40 on Friday. We get a little boost on Saturday, but then we really go off the deep end by Sunday and Monday. In fact, that's what almost a 20 degree temperature swing here. 20 plus degree temperature swing there between Saturday and Sunday. So the cold once it gets here may actually linger for a few days. In fact, I think next week will bring us our coldest weather we've seen so far here in 20. 20. All right, let me show you future cast. All right, talk about tomorrow morning. Wind chills, your real feels, temperatures going to feel like they're in the low 20s, mid 20s here across a good part of the heart of the tri state. Feel like it's in the low 20s across southeast Indiana. We'll feel like we're in the 20s all day. And then tomorrow night, wind chills will drop down into the teens. And by the time you get your Friday started, wind chills will have fallen to somewhere between about 10 and 15 for most of us. So yes, tomorrow morning will be chilly, but it will be even colder on Friday morning. All right, here's a live look outside right now. Pretty quiet, 47 degrees at the airport. This is how you know we've got a pretty decent cold air, or should I say northwest breeze blowing in. Now look at that, out of the northwest at 21 miles per hour. So these temperatures are about to start dropping fairly quickly. Again, most of us are in the mid 40s currently. Right now, 47 Kenwood, Hyde Park at 46, 47 over in Del High. So temperatures will slip below 40 after midnight and will continue to drop until the sun comes up in the morning down into the mid 30s. So future cast shaping up like this. Plenty of clouds through the night. We'll probably have mostly cloudy skies to begin the day, but we should get into some sunshine pretty quickly. However, that's not going to do much to help us out in terms of winter's chill. And then it looks like with clear skies tomorrow night, obviously going to be very cold. Overnight lows will drop back close to around 20. Many of you in the teens. Friday starts sunny, but we'll cloud up Friday afternoon. It should stay dry Friday night, but then that's that rainmaker that's ahead of that for Saturday. So colder later tonight, 31 for an overnight low, and then for tomorrow turning sunny, much colder. Again, temperatures will be in the 30s all day. Here's a look at your day planner, and don't forget there will be a pretty chilly breeze too that will add an additional nip to the air. Here's a look at your seven day forecast 21 tomorrow night. There's your jump on Saturday. That's your weather impact day, and then boy, as we bring in MLK day there on on Monday, temperatures in the 20s there Sunday and Monday and look at those overnight lows next week. All right, Kevin, thank you for the update.